hello what's up youtube people welcome back to mp world and welcome to another solution based video on my channel today i will show you how to fix apple logo is blinking or apple logo got stuck on your iphone so on my hand this is iphone 11 pro max and we can see here this phone is not opening the phone is restarting automatically fixing this issue we just need to watch this video till the end and i will show you very effective method to fix this problem but before we begin we just need to know why this problem we get on our iphone basically there is so many reason for getting this problem but i got especially for the storage actually my iphone storage was full because i am having only 64 gb on my iphone and last night i was trying to update my phone uh, from the settings and it was 14.7.1 the latest ios version and suddenly why um, i got this problem so before updating your ios version make sure your iphone storage is free more than 5 gb and now i will connect my phone with the usb lightning cable and now i will press the up volume button and down volume button and quickly press and hold the lock button until we enter the recovery mode option so here we can see apple logo is on now and there is no apple logo we can see now apple logo will turn on but don't release your finger from the lock button until you see the recovery mode option on your display and it can take time 10 seconds so here you can see recovery mode and it is showing the computer and it's showing the connect your uh, connect your iphone with the computer and now let's see on my computer screen and i will show you what to do next here you can see on my windows laptop i have downloaded the itunes software and if you have the macbook there is no need to download the itunes so here we can see on my screen update and register option these two options and let me tell you about this if you hit on update you won't lose any data from your computer and if you hit on restore your phone will set up as a new iphone so before we begin make sure your data is like important file is already backed up on your icloud because you may lose your important photos or you may lose your important file from your iphone now i will hit on the restore option because if i hit on the update option my phone won't open and because it's on recovery mode that's why and if i hit on the restore i own i may lose some files but my major or important files are updated already on my computer or and on my icloud both so i am hitting the restore option and it's showing okay update restore and update and this option and after that this will pop up we can see the terms and conditions and about the update last update i was 14.7.1 and you have to you just know this already know about this and at the corner of the icon uh, itunes we can see here the download option and it's downloading and we can see here it's showing three hours remaining basically it's totally depends on your internet speed my internet speed is maybe slow that's why it's showing three hours and let's have a look So now we can see on my computer the iOS software is downloaded already and now uh, we have to enter the recovery mode again and for entering the recovery mode option we just need to press up volume button and the down volume button and quickly press and hold the lock button until we get the recovery mode option on our computer and on our iPhone and when we will get the recovery mode option that time on my computer automatically it will pop up 
like update and restore option so as you can see here um, recovery mode option is on and on my computer we can see update and restore option so i will hit on the restore now and this will extract the downloaded software okay restore and update this option now as you can see at the top of the itunes the software is extracting and it will take five to six minutes and after that the iphone will get the full fresh setup and i hope it, it will work perfectly on your iphone and if you get help please share and subscribe my channel and if you have any trouble with this problem please let me know on my comment section below i will try to try to help you as much i can and if you have any other problem related to apple products please let me know in my comment section below obviously i will upload a new video regarding that problem and i will see you with another solution based video till then stay happy and stay healthy bye